There are no stupid questions, just the questions you don't ask out loud. Hi everybody and welcome to Cats and Pats. Today we're back to one of those questions where you think, why are people searching this? Or why are people asking this? But lo and behold, you get several articles that pop up when you do searches, so here we go. And that wonderful question is, why do cats sniff each other's butts? Or as one article aptly put it, what's up with cat butt sniffs? Now most people associate this with dogs and think of it as sort of a greeting. But if you've had more than one cat for any length of time, you'll notice that one cat like always greets the other one every morning. So why do kitties do the butt sniff? Well, it's an instinctual basic form of cat-to-cat -cat communication. It comes down to a greetings there, fine sir, how do you do? Or maybe even a hey, how's it going? Sort of like you and I have handshakes to greet someone, cats have sniffs. But it isn't just limited to butt sniffs, it also includes like sniffing like the chest and the neck. And you might think, alright, that sounds good, why don't they just stick up here, that sounds a lot better. Well, to be brutally honest, cats have these butt glands that produce a smelly oil. And this can communicate a lot of information and send a lot of info to other cats. So before we even hit that, how can a cat get so much information from a sniff? Well, according to one one article I read, cats have about 40 times the smell sensing capability that humans have. And because of this, they rely on that information a lot more than humans do. Like if a cat walks into a room, they can smell if a previous cat in there was happy, stressed, scared, in heat, whatever. And we might not know exactly how it works, but when one cat sniffs the other one, the sniff can kind of communicate whether the interaction is going to be like friendly or not. But back to butts, which isn't a phrase I thought I was going to say today. But anywho, near a cat's butt is something called an apocrine gland. And these can, and bear with me here, produce strong smelling secretions intended to send chemical signals about the cat's identity to other animals. And this can send all sorts of information, like what a cat's been eating, the sex of a cat, and also some signs of how a cat is feeling emotionally, like if they're scared or stressed or whatever. And you might say, okay, I get it's a greeting, but I don't say like hi to somebody five times in a day. Well, that's because you're not a cat. At least I'm 90% sure. Cats will actually reintroduce themselves several times in a day. Any change or stimulus in a cat's environment might cause a new hello. Some believe that a sniff can actually relieve like tension and stress with another cat by actually helping one one cat feel more comfortable with another cat. In one article I read talked about like cats will sniff each other when like one cat comes back from like the vet or from outside and that's to get some information about that returning cat's state. Like their mood, if they're available to mate, if they're stressed out, what they ate, that sort of thing. So you may think it's kind of funny when you see one cat sniffing another cat but behavior suggests like this is normal cat behavior and you shouldn't interrupt it. And the equivalent thing in people terms would be two people like walking up and shaking hands with each other and then you walk over there and like grab their hands and separate them and you're like no. It would be pretty annoying and make the whole greeting process uncomfortable, which creates stress in people and that can actually create stress in cats. So there you have it, that's your fun fact for the day. And if you have any other questions about cat behavior, leave them down in the comments below and I'll be glad to look it up for you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.